Welcome to Cognitive Class Labs, previously known as Data Scientist Workbench, or BDU Labs. It's a free, virtual lab environment that lets you practice your skills in Python, R, and more while you learn data science. It's ready to use in your web browser, so without having to install anything on your computer, you can immediately start using popular data science tools like RStudio IDE, Jupyter Notebooks, Apache Zeppelin, OpenRefine, Seahorse, and more. In these videos, you'll be learning about these popular tools and how to get familiar working in the environments. Cognitive Class Labs is also the virtual lab environment for CognitiveClass.ai, a popular website with lots of free online courses in data science, artificial intelligence, and data engineering. But throughout these videos, you'll also hear us referring to Data Scientist Workbench, which is simply the former name of Cognitive Class Labs. So, in actuality, Cognitive Class Labs and Data Scientist Workbench are one and the same. Let's first go through some of the user interface on Cognitive Class Labs to get you familiarized with the environment before jumping into the data science tools. Here's the menu pane situated on the left side of the screen. In the Find Data section, you'll have access to two important resources, IBM Analytics Exchange and Open Data. Let's take a quick look at each one. IBM Analytics Exchange connects you to IBM Bluemix, which allows you to explore and discover all sorts of online public data. And you can use that data in any of these notebooks. By clicking on the Open Data link, you'll be connected to many sources of open data, including the United Nations datasets, open government data, industry open data, and open data search engines. Then, at the bottom of the menu, you have a number of other useful links. Let's start with Workbench status. Here you can get information about the status of the cognitive class labs, whether it's operational or down for maintenance. If you're having problems with Cognitive Class Labs, click this link to check its status. If all systems are operational, then open a ticket by clicking the Support tab at the right of the screen. By clicking on the Submit an Idea link, you can share your ideas about Cognitive Class Labs directly with IBM. For example, you can describe other tools or features that you'd like to see next on Cognitive Class Labs. Please note that the current tools were all put into place based on input from the community. Your ideas are definitely taken seriously. We certainly want to improve this tool for everyone. Next, check out the blog. Here you'll be able to get the scoop on the latest data science news. Clicking on the Knowledge Base link allows you to search for answers to all your questions on Cognitive Class Labs. You can also find updates here on the status of your submitted ideas. The articles are organized by tool, or you can search through all the articles within the knowledge base. The feedback forum link gives you the opportunity to provide your input on any of the tools, whether it be to offer praise or even to make a complaint. You can use the voting buttons to give us a sense of what you think. To vote on a topic, click vote and give either one two, or three votes. We listen to what you tell us. In fact, Cognitive Class Labs was originally created based on all your suggestions, so keep those ideas coming. Use the support link to open a ticket or to check on the status of your feedback or submitted ideas. The online learning link takes you to cognitiveclass.ai where you can take all the free courses they have to offer. Check out their learning paths. And finally, the What's New link shows you everything that's new with Cognitive Class Labs. This brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching.